My name is Adam Kirk. I work for Universal Engineers as a professional engineer out of our Jacksonville Deep Foundation Department. Today we're on site with two seismographs and a sound meter testing noise and seismic vibrations from the Yungton hammer. I'm holding here a paper written by Brad Fawcett, a professional engineer out of our Rockledge office on construction noise and vibrations. In this paper, it explains how a structure that's in good shape of sizable foundation, such as a bridge or some major construction, you could have up to four inches per second vibrations before you're going to damage that structure in any potential way. Out here, we're going by the lowest threshold of, of an old structure in poor conditions, which is the DOT's threshold for seismic vibrations of 0.5 inches per second. With our two seismographs, we're finding that approximately 15 feet from the Yungton hammer, our vibration levels drop below 0.5 inches per second. As you can see, we're roughly 250 feet from the nearest structure. So you would expect the vibration dissipation curve to drop to nearly an insignificant level at that point. As far as noise goes, at approximately 15 to 20 feet from our hammer, our sound meter is picking up 85 decibels, which is roughly equivalent to a subway train. 250 feet, that noise goes down significantly. The Yungton hammer is relatively quiet in that way.